Hello again. Um, I thought, as I seem to be making uh, little videos about coming out, um, how difficult it may be for other people, um, I've done one for um, parents and hopefully there'll be one or two more to come uh, also for parents who are struggling to come to terms with the fact that um, one of their children has um, come out to them and the parents are wondering what to do next. Um, in the case of uh, you people out there who may have already come out, um, I can only hope that it was um, a good reaction. Um, it can sometimes be negative but let's hope it was positive um, and I thought I'd relay what my story is. Um, in my case, um, although the reaction of my family was positive and I felt like a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders, I also felt a strange overwhelming sense of anticlimax. Um, I think you spend so many years worrying about what the reaction will be and thinking in your own head that there's going to be um, an explosion of emotions. Um, but in my case, if anything, the, the reaction was so muted as to be almost nonplussed. Um, my dad's reaction was, well, I did wonder once or twice, but it's not the sort of thing a dad likes to ask his son. And my mum's answer was, well, you always did seem to have one best friend when you were growing up. And they said, uh, Shall we go to the pub for dinner then? Um, uh, and as if I was just told them that the weather might change next week. I had been a bit of a coward. I suppose one of my fears about coming out when I lived with my parents was that they might have told me to get out. I had waited until I'd got my own flat and told them while they were visiting. The worst thing that could have happened was that um, they could have gone home again, but at least I'd have had my own bed to sleep in at the end of the day so like I say I was a coward but as I said things couldn't have gone more smoothly um, in my mind I wanted to say is that it? what? no screaming and shouting? no disparaging looks and shaking of heads? the problem you see is um, more about how I perceived they would react and I was completely wrong thankfully I might have but when you first realise that being gay is what you are and always will be it can take some getting used to. I think I tried to deny it to myself at first and thought maybe, well just maybe, there might be some girl that I haven't dated yet um, that would have such a profound effect on me that I would want no other but her and I'd be straight forever. Of course, um, that was a, as a teenager, it was only a, it was only a, pipe, dream, a pipe dream of mine at the time um, and one which I secretly knew would never happen. It's because we all want to fit in. Um, it's far easier to travel the much travelled route than to branch out on your own down a rocky path. But for some of us that rocky path can lead to our own utopia. It's having the courage to take those first steps. I dated girls from the age of 15 right, right up until I came out when I was 23, 24 and not one of them excited me in the same way that a fanciable boy brushing past me or a cute guy smile across a crowded room could do. I'd uh, plunged into and sidestepped out of straight relationships and now having gone the whole hog and told my parents I felt like I was free to follow my own dreams without any more fear of recrimination. I was out and if I was not exactly proud I was certainly not ashamed either. I was just me. I'd already uh, dipped my toe in the water of gay nightlife and I liked what I saw. Now all I had to do was find that special someone. Um, I dated a few guys up to the age of 26 and eventually I met Simon. Uh, we met in a local gay club. I had uh, been rather the worse for drink but uh, we were introduced and I invited him back for a coffee and he just never went home. And uh, We had 21 years together. Um, I think for the main part of that we were quite happy together. Um, 
not all relationships can last forever and ours didn't but we we left amicably he's now with someone else and so am I um, and I've been with my um, present um, significant other for the last uh, five years and we're very happy together so I can only hope that uh, the same thing happens for you um, more to come bye for now